Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products that I've been using in July. Now, July flew by so fast. I honestly, it's, I couldn't even register it, that it was July. And as many of you know, it's my birthday month and we went on a trip. It actually became like our tradition. Every birthday, we always go somewhere exciting. Um, and I got to visit my parents, so it was a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's get into my favorites. The first product I have here is from Tree Hut. This is Coco Colada Body Scrub. It smells delicious, it smells like vacation. And I've been using these for quite a while. And the funny thing is I even got Andrew into them. He would never use scrub or anything, just give him a bar of soap, that's it. But I recently told him like, hey, you gotta try it. And he did. And now he even he always asks for this so i have to restock it quite often this next product is from the white company this is fig tree body lotion i also had a body wash with the same scent it came in a set this smells just beautiful uh it smells like figs smells really natural and and this moisturizer really keeps my skin hydrated and I just love it so much. I'm gonna repurchase this again because the scent of it is up my alley. If you've seen my Washington haul, I mentioned that I repurchased my Elemis Superfood Facial Wash. And uh, you guys know I love this product so much. I already use this much. I use it every single day. This is my must have. I will be even traveling with it. Probably gonna put it in a smaller jar or something, but. This is my must have. It doesn't dry out my skin. It removes any makeup residue that's left behind. Overall, the best. A little thing that always wakes me up in the mornings is Advanced Clinical Vitamin C Spray. I keep this refrigerated so that in the morning when I'm feeling tired and my skin looks dull, I spray this on my face and it instantly wakes up. It looks brighter and I love the scent of this. It reminds me of something from childhood. I will be needing to repurchase it soon because I'm almost out, but this is my favorite thing. And I also put it in the smaller spray bottles and travel with it. When we were in Los Angeles, I had to stop by CVS to pick up a few things. And I saw they had this huge wall full of French products. And I was so excited because we don't have that in Sacramento. I haven't seen that yet. And the only way for me to purchase French products would be through a uh, French pharmacy. They also have um, they also have a salon, which is in Portland. I trust them. They have amazing products, so I would always order from them. But seeing this, I was like, okay, I have to get something. A lot of products were $30 and higher, so they were not as affordable as other drugstore products, but I decided on... Um, Avene Hydrating Moisturizer. This is such a good product if you don't like anything too heavy on your skin, yet your skin needs some hydration. This is a product for you. I love how light it feels, yet my skin instantly transforms. It feels nourished, feels hydrated, and it's just such a beautiful thing. And I already used quite a bit of it. Now, I talked about this product multiple times. When my skin is dehydrated, I use this Naturium. Nicinamide cleansing gel. You can use it as face wash, but I keep it on as a face mask, which it also gives instructions to keep it on for, for five minutes and I'll just apply it in the shower. And my skin feels wonderful afterwards. It feels hydrated, nourished. So this is my quick fix for dehydrated skin. Lips have always been really sensitive. They're always been dry and especially in summer, they get really dry and sometimes also sunburned so i like to use laneige lip sleeping mask i remember when this brand was still selling at target it was a really good one they have hydrating face mask which i love it, it comes in a baby blue jar it's such a good product my sister-in-law is currently hooked on those products okay so this is a product that i would normally not mention i don't know i feel like something not many people like to talk about but um this deodorant i i tried natural deodorants my mom is more of like into natural things and 
I never liked organic ones because they just they just didn't do anything. You would smell awful. You would smell worse than if you wouldn't have it on. But I decided to give this a try. This is native uh, coconut and vanilla. It comes in the paper packaging, which I was also nervous about because paper can get damaged really easily. It does have a little bit of stains from when they traveled, but this is a really good product. Um, I never have any issues. It keeps me protected throughout the whole day and smells delicious. And knowing that it doesn't have harsh chemicals is also a huge plus. So this next product, oh my gosh. I accidentally picked it up. Well, I meant to pick it up a lighter shade, which I thought I was picking up the light shade when I opened it, it looked completely different. And let me show you what I mean. This is um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. Look, it was supposed to be the lightest shade and I was just like, what is going on? Um, I was planning to return it because I never used it. Like I didn't even touch it before, but I forgot. So I was like, okay, let me try work this in somehow. Let me try to do something maybe as an eyeshadow. And then after trying out different ways, I tried applying a little bit on my skin before my foundation. So I would, well, my hands are dry right now, so it's not blending out as it should. So what I do if I need my face to be really sculpted, I would just apply this um, in the areas that are needed and then I would blend it out and go over with foundation. It looks like your face is naturally sculpted. It looks amazing and you know I'm actually glad that I didn't return this product because I knew, now use it quite often for that and I would just bronze up my face just a little bit. Blush of the month has been this one, Lock It and nudie gold i talked about this one i got it in washington looks like this i think i talked about this blush so many times that i have nothing else to say it's beautiful it blends out evenly and it doesn't move around and it will be on your skin for the rest of the day i have two eyeshadows that i wanted to mention so this eyeshadow palette I had for a while. It's nothing new and it is Huda Beauty Nude Medium. Looks like this. I recently got back to using it. I love these shades. I don't use the shimmer ones. I mainly use like um, this shade and these ones, occasionally these ones. The shimmer shades, I'm just, I have to be really in the mood to use shimmer. And the next product, I talked about it even in my previous favorite video, my Tom Ford Peachy Golden Peach. This is such a pretty color. I love it. I use it quite often and I'm taking it on a trip with me. I have two lip products here. The first one is e.l.f. Lip Tint in Cinnamon Dreams. Let me swatch that. I talked about this before. I love that. Um, it doesn't it doesn't cling to dry patches and it looks beautiful on the lips then the second one is from revolution in the shade candy this is pout bomb i don't want i don't know what's going on with me but lately i've been into pinks which was never really my thing and this is how it looks really pretty i don't know why i'm not really into lipsticks in summer so and last but not least are my hair rollers i've been using hair rollers for quite some time and i recently needed to get some more i found this set i think it was tj maxx i absolutely love it it has different sizes so i mainly apply it on top and what's great about it is that i don't have to use hot tools i can just put some curlers in and a few minutes later my hair has volume it has structure and I love this. That is all for my favorite videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.